Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I feel weird recording like this. I never really record like this, but I see a lot of videos, people talking like this. So I guess it's a thing. So for the longest time I have been chasing like this film look. And although I oftentimes I felt like I got close to it, I never really quite got that like that, that look. You know what I'm talking about? Like that look where like, yeah, it's, that has that film look. Yeah, so for the longest time, I've been chasing that and I finally found it. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. And by the look of this title, I'm sure you guys figured it out. That is The Hanser. So before we jump into this, I did want to mention that The Hanser did reach out and say, hey, would you be interested in a 30 day trial in exchange for a YouTube video? And I was like, yes, uh, because I've heard a lot of great things about it and I wanted to try it out. Uh, and all they really asked for was an honest review. And they even told me, don't, you don't have to send us a link prior to you posting on YouTube just post it send us a link after so I was like you got it so as you guys are watching this they're watching this for the first time and yeah so I'm very very excited to show you guys my kind of like my workflow I want to give you guys an outline of the things you're able to achieve with this software so let's jump right into this program first things first is I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working on now this is on the Mac mini Apple one or M1, sorry. This is a computer I'm working with here, and I'm currently running on Final Cut's version of 10.6.10. .10. So what I love about this program is that everything's integrated in itself. I don't have to export it, do color grading somewhere else, then come back in here or anything like that. It's all right here. So when you go to your effects browser, it's gonna be under your film emulation. If for any reason it doesn't pop up, just type down here, the answer, and it should pop up. So what we're going to do here is, First of all, we're gonna get a adjustment layer and we're gonna drag this to the top. So we're gonna put that up here and we're gonna put that right over here. All right, couple key things is one, I'm not a colorist. So I don't really use the scopes anymore or anything like that. I kind of just look in an image and I, I basically, the way I see is the way it will come out, but if that makes sense. So as long as the image looks good, that's my main concern. So right now, uh, as you guys saw when I applied this, it already looked kind of eh. So, and that is because it's naturally going to add a couple things to it. So we, what we want to do is remove these. So that way we have a clean canvas. All right, so we remove them. And first things first is we're going to go up here to where it says source. We're going to go under the choose your camera. And then basically on here, you're just going to pick whichever camera you're working on. So I was working on Sony FX3. So we're going to go there. All right, format, I was using the S-Log. S gamut dot three, see me, you know what I mean. And right away, this is gonna give us a rec 709. So you guys can see here, this actually already looks good. All right, so this is the before and after. Basically, it is a nice rec 709. And from here, adjustments right here. So if I wanted this to be a little bit brighter or a little bit darker, you do that right here. Same thing with the temperature and you can do all that right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reset all of these and we're gonna go down to the first one which is brighten it up a little bit so one thing with this is that subtleness if i go like 0 0.10 it's gonna be drastic so you want to go with subtleness so we're gonna go probably 0 0.001 very very subtle all right and i do want it to be more warmer on this uh, i kind of want to have like more green to it so i am going to move the temperature a little bit so I get to like a desired look to it. So that actually looks good right there. And then we're gonna bring this down a little bit. That's a little bit too much. Maybe about right about here. And we're gonna leave that alone here. And we're gonna go down to our film. So now here's where things are gonna get interesting. So right now it is rec 709 with a minor adjustment to it and once we apply this it's going to drastically change so once we do that it changes the image and that's because this is now the film so we have so many these are all your options here so you have a variety of options and the one that i've really been liking a lot is that one that it automatically put me on which is the kodak vision 250 and then right here you have this lever here and not lever but you have this option here you can increase it or decrease it so like basically the intensity so i feel like right now it's a little bit too much so i'm going to kind of bring it up right about maybe like right right about there that looks good it's kind of before and after all right before and after so don't worry don't worry you know you guys are probably thinking like yo like it looks better before but 
just bear with me all right so after that we're gonna go right here to expand and this is the white point so as you guys can see here if i bring it down it basically almost blows it out if i go up higher it darkens it so we're just gonna kind of brighten it up a little bit right about there or you can darken it brighten it so we're gonna bring this up a little bit so it's a little bit darker all right so you guys can see here before and after so subtleness subtleness is key here all right after that here is where things get fun so the film the first one is like the film right now we're gonna do what's called a print the print i'm not technical on this so i might be wrong on it but basically you have your film and then this is like if you were to print it so now it prints the image on there i'm pretty sure that's how it works i'm probably wrong but that's the way i interpret it uh so anyways the one i've been using that works really really well is this kodak 2383 and click that you probably wonder why they didn't do anything that's because you gotta enable it so once you hit enable boom now we're working with something here all right so now at this point you can kind of tweak it out a little bit kind of make adjustments to it so that's exactly what i'm about to do i'm going to kind of like play with this and as you guys can see here if i go one way it's a little bit more blue if i go the opposite it's a little bit more green so kind of want to play with that here bring it up a little bit there contrast I'll probably keep that alone and color density i'll keep that keep that the same i'm not going to mess with that and now here are some really cool options so a lot of times too like let's say you don't want to do all this and you just want to use it for like the uh, film grain or you just want to add halation or even bloom this has that so you don't have to you know do anything else for this one i'm going to still add to it the film grain might be a little bit too much for this particular shot but i want to add some halation to it and as you can see it's very very subtle the lower this these are your options so if i went to like an eight millimeter super eight it's going to be drastic where you can really see it and if i go down it's very very minimal so i'm going to keep this right at the minimal uh, about 70 percent there or 70 millimeter 65 millimeter and then we're going to go with the bloom here you guys can see the bloom really kind of like give it that you know the bloom it get, the bloom gives it the bloom and then i still feel like this might be a little bit too i kind of want a little bit more green to it so i'm going to go back up here and kind of push it a little bit more and the tint as well just a little bit more so you guys can see what it does show you guys the before and after whoo yeah a lot of times too what i'll do is if it looks good like for instance this shot looks really well i like the way everything looked good on it i won't save it as a preset although you can save it as a preset um i'm gonna drag it onto the next clip just to show you guys you can still kind of work with it so this is the next clip here i feel like it might be just a tad too bright for for my liking so i'm gonna bring this down a little bit from here we're gonna go ahead and yeah see i want to keep that warmthness to it a little bit green there and right about there we're gonna go down to our black point bring this down a little bit and our white point as well kind of brighten it up just a tad bit we're gonna go down here move this around so that, that's all it is like there's no right or wrong way to go about this you kind of just kind of play around see what what looks good and that looks to me looks really good i might add a little bit of the, the film grain to this one so you guys can see it so you guys can see how how much it on there watch let me show you real quick if i go to eight millimeter it's very very noisy so we're gonna go down to 65 65 subtleness subtleness all right so that's like the before all the before and after I like that we're gonna drag this over this is all from the same shoot we're gonna drag this over see how that looks looks good let's go ahead and kind of play with this a little bit i'm gonna bring up the exposure uh, that's too much and so we're gonna leave that alone real quick keep the warmthness here it's a little bit green right about there all right we're gonna go down to our black point we're gonna bring this down a little bit and our white points a little bit bring it down so that looks good maybe i can go a little bit warmer on this um let's see not warmer but let's see here all right that looks good basically at 100 percent over there with the warmth so that looks good i'm gonna remove the grain there see there boom 
Sweet. All right. And then here's a really cool shot we got with the train passing. And all I'm really going to do is drag this right over. And look at that. Boom. That looks really good. I'm super happy with this. If I wanted to, like, basically correct it or anything like that maybe it might be a little bit blown out in the back i'm gonna bring it down a little bit so it's not so bright i'll bring this up a little bit yeah you see I'll kind of bring it down a little bit so there we go so it doesn't look so blown out there we go boom we're gonna move on to the next clip here and that is this clip here so check this out Ooh, that looks good we might not even have to do anything with this and like let's say i wasn't feeling this one so much you can always change these uh so that's another option like basically these are your looks so you can have a variety of looks so if you weren't feeling the way that particular one was looking you can kind of change it up to whatever your liking is you have options here you have a variety of options so don't feel like you, you're stuck with the one. I just like to use that one. Like, see, this one changes it drastically. All right. And then lastly, we got these two shots. We got this shot here and this shot here. So super happy with the way these shots came out in general. Uh, so I'm going to drag it over and just see what it does. And ooh wee. Yeah. All right. So let's kind of cut it up a little bit and see what we can change so right away you guys can tell the the bloom is allowing by his glasses to work and then he naturally had these glasses that were reflecting we just had one light here that's really really harsh on it because we wanted dramaticness to it but i kind of want a little bit more of a green tint to it so i'm gonna slide the right here so you guys can see here you see now it's a little bit too green uh, just subtleness here and all right, so we got this shot. So let me let me adjust this a little bit. Bring it down a little bit. Black point. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. Let's see what it's doing. All right, hold on. We gotta we gotta adjust this a little bit. I'm not feeling this right now. I am not feeling this. So yes, no, that blue looks pretty good. But now I'm gonna keep it with the green here. and there we go and we're gonna change this a little bit just see what it does oh there we go so we got that there i'm just kind of playing around like that like i said i'm just playing around see what what fits what looks good and then after that I just do a little playback and So that kind of gives you guys an idea of how to use the software. Uh, now, one big uh, con to this is that it does lag with the playback. So the more I add to it, the more little micro adjustments to it, especially on a full music video where it's like three minutes long and you have all these layers to it. Um, the playback, playback is crucial on it, it kind of delays a little bit. So that's like the only thing is it is heavy on the machine you're working with. So just keep that in mind that it is heavy. So what I've been doing is I'll pre-color grade like starting clips and then I'll edit the entire video and then I'll do the color grading at the very end just for that playback reason. Once after that, then you export it, get to go. But like I said, it is just heavy on the processor that you're using. So just keep that in mind when you're looking to get the software. Uh, but that about ties in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit different. I'm trying to get better at these tutorial style videos because this is actually one of my first ones I've done like this. Uh, so comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see stuff more like this. If you have any questions down below. And then one last thing too is I do have a discount code. If you guys want to use it, Media will give you guys 10% off. So check that out. And I will see you guys in the next video.